let us start the new topic clocks one of the very important concepts of aptitude the topic from which you get lot of questions in the examination and every question will be very easy it appears to be very simple and we mark an answer and that answer will be wrong so many times so this is one concept where we will not waste time in the examination we feel something as an answer but that something will be wrong most of the times so we have to be very careful with the answer what happens in the examination is they will ask you a question something like what is the angle between two hands of the clock at 410 we feel the answer is 60 degrees. One is on 4, one is on 2, the angle is 60 degrees. But the answer will not be 60 degrees. You will find an option 60 degrees, you feel so happy to mark that as your answer, but that answer will be wrong answer. I have just taken an example of 410. You will get lot of questions where you feel something as an answer, but that something will be the wrong answer. Suppose the question is, between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock, at what time two hands of the clock meet? We feel that they meet at 420, but that 420 will be the wrong answer again. So there are a lot of questions on clocks where we feel something as an answer and that something will be wrong. So we have to be very careful in marking an answer and we have to be very quick enough. So we'll try to be accurate at the same time very quick to answer questions. We'll not use any formula to answer any question on clocks. Let us try to understand the concept of clocks in depth. But before we solve problems on clocks, let us get to understand the basic information about clocks. Just imagine a wall clock and every question will be very easy to answer. There are three hands, the second hand, minute hand and hour hand. But majority of your questions will be from minutes hand and hours hand. You can ignore the concept of seconds hand. Even if you want to take it into consideration, you can confidently say the seconds hand will cover 360 degrees in one minute. Because in one minute, it will cover one complete cycle. So I can say seconds hand will cover 360 degrees in one minute. If I have to write, I can write seconds hand will cover in one minute 360 degrees. Let us also try to understand minutes hand will cover how many degrees in one minute and our hand will cover how many degrees in one minute. Let us also try to find out this because these two hands are very important in every examination. So to understand that, just imagine a time which is 3 o'clock. If the time is 3 o'clock and it has to become 4 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, the minute's hand is on 12, the hour's hand is on 3. I want it to become 4 o'clock. To become 4 o'clock, this minute's hand will cover one complete cycle. That means in one hour, it will cover 360 degrees. One cycle is equal to 360 degrees. So I can confidently say minutes and in one hour will cover 360 degrees. If I simplify, I can say minutes and in 60 minutes time will cover 360 degrees. That means minutes and in one minute time will cover 360 degrees by 60 minutes. That is equal to 6 degrees. So I can very confidently say minutes and in one minute will cover 6 degrees. This will turn out to be very very important information for you to solve questions. Minutes and in one minute will cover 6 degrees. Now let us get into hours and. Now tell me what is the gap between number to the next number in a clock. In a clock you have total 12 numbers. You have 12, 1, 2 and there is 3 then 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So you have total 12 numbers. The gap between number to the next number is 5 minutes. 1 minute is equal to 6 degrees. Then I can say 5 minutes is equal to 6 into 5. That is 30 degrees. The gap between number to number is 5 minutes gap. So these 5 minutes I can say it is 30 degrees. So understand another important information. The number to the next number gap is always 30 degrees in clocks. And this will help us a lot in solving questions again. Now let us get into the hours and please pay your attention. Now imagine the time is 3 o'clock and it has to become 4 o'clock. From 3 o'clock it has to become 4 o'clock. That means the hours and in one hour will move from 3 to 4. So I can confidently say hours and in one hour it would cover 30 degrees because it moves from one number to other number. In one hour 30 degrees that means in 60 minutes it will cover 30 degrees r sand in 60 minutes will cover 30 degrees. So I can say r sand in 1 minute will cover 30 by 60 that is equal to half a degree. So another very important information about r sand here is r sand in 1 minute will cover just half degree. So these are the two things which will help you a lot in solving questions and another important information is number to number gap is 30 degrees. This will help us solve questions in a very quick time. So you can remember this, the number to number gap in any clock is 30 degrees. Like say the gap between 1 and 2 is 30 degrees, the gap between 5 and 6 is 30 degrees. If someone asks me what is the gap between 9 and 11, 
I can say it is 30 plus 30 that is 60 degrees. If you know the number to number gap is 30 degrees, even if the question is asked what is the gap between 2 and 5, I can say there are 3 numbers. So my answer is 3 into 30 that is equal to 90 degrees. So the number to number gap is 30 degrees. As I said, that will help you to answer questions in a very, very quick time. So you have to know that. One thing very, very important here is minute sand in one minute will cover six degrees. Hour sand in one minute will cover half degree and number to number gap is 30 degrees. These are the three information which you all have to know before we solve questions on measuring an angle in clocks. We'll solve questions later. Just have an idea about it that number to number gap is 30 degrees. Minute sand in one minute will cover six degrees and hour sand in one minute will cover half degree. Let us get into more calculations. Let us try to understand more features of a clock now. Just pay your attention. Now if someone asks us how many degrees will the minutes hand cover from 11 o'clock to 11.25. From 11 to 11.25 minutes hand will cover 11 to 11.25. There are 25 minutes and minutes hand will cover 6 degrees every minute. So my answer will be 150 degrees. If the same question is asked our sand it is 25 minutes and per minute it will cover half a degree so it will cover 12 and a half degrees or you can say 12.5 degrees so very very important to know that minute sand will cover six degrees in one minute and our sand will cover half a degree but this question cannot be asked for second sand because 25 minutes it covers 360 degrees every minute so it is equal to 360 into 25 that will be equal to 9000 degrees degrees cannot exceed 360 the maximum angle will be 360 degrees so you can't get a question on seconds hand so you can ignore it your questions will be mainly on minutes hand and hours hand the questions may not be this simple but the only information i want you all to understand is minutes hand will cover six degrees in one minute hours hand will cover half a degree in one minute and number to number gap is 30 degrees as i said we'll go wrong many times in solving questions on clocks the reason is very simple if the time is 4 10 we all know how the angle will be at 4 10 this will be on 4 and the bigger hand will be on 2 and we know that number to number gap is 30 degrees so from 2 to 3 it is 30 degrees from 3 to 4 it is 30 degrees so 30 plus 30 we feel that our answer is 60 degrees but our answer cannot be 60 degrees why is our answer not 60 degrees because at 4 10 this is on 2 i don't have a problem with that but at 4 o'clock this was on 4 at 4 10 this will come little down towards 5 that means this is not exactly on 4 if this is exactly on 4, it is 60 degrees. But this has come little away from 4. That's the reason your answer can't be 60 degrees. What will be the right answer? We'll discuss that later. But the only thing I wanted to tell you was the answer can't be 60 degrees. Same thing happens with a question. Between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock, when will two hands of a clock meet? Again, a simple reason. Between 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock, if both the hands are on 4, I feel that they will meet and the time is 4.20. But understand the concept. At 4 o'clock, the shorter one was on 4. But at 4.20, the bigger one has come on to 4, but the smaller one has moved little away from 4. That means they are not meeting at 4.20. They are meeting little more than 4.20. We will have options 4.21, 4.21, 4 by 11, 4.21, 5 by 11 and so on. So you will have very, very difficult options. The options will be close to one another and you have to end up getting the right answer. So that will be very difficult again. Let us make it very simple. Let me tell you what are the different varieties of questions asked on clocks. They will give you time and they'll ask you the angle they'll give you angle and ask you time they will form questions on mirror images they will ask you questions on losing time and gaining time they will also ask you a question from slow the watch becomes fast or from fast the watch becomes slow they will also form questions on striking points the clock strikes once at 1 o'clock, twice at 2 o'clock kind of things. And there are a lot of other varieties of questions, but these are very important. Let us try to understand each and every concept in detail. I will be explaining each and every variety of clocks in detail in the further videos. Thank you so much. I am Krishna Jaitanya Reddy. Bye.